Len, tell us a little bit about your work now with OEMs. That seems to be a focus of your marketing. It's going pretty well. Yeah, so we've grown um, largely without a sales force um, through our relationships with large dealer groups who were early adopters, uh, some smaller dealer groups who were sort of uh, very smart and cutting edge, and you know the OEMs uh, have a lot of resources to look into new technologies, pilot them, see what they do for their business. Um, our primary impact is is moving specific inventory, right? And that's an issue for the OEMs. They print out cars, you know, the F-150, one every 34 and a half seconds comes in, you know, online. And they, so they, they produce them in a very steady fashion, but they don't sell through quite as evenly, right? So you see, that, you know, fluctuations in sales up and down, but you see huge swings in day supply. And when you take that down to the regional or the dealer level, the swings get even more exaggerated. An OEM can't sell what he's producing unless, unless it's clearing out of the lots ahead of him. And, you know, so we address that, that issue at the dealer level and at the OEM level. And what they've learned to do is use our product nationally, you know, to, to address those, uh, you know, kind of bunch ups in the supply chain, in, either in conjunction with an incentive, in support of an incentive program that they have, or actually in advance of an incentive, reducing the incentive dollars that they have to spend in the marketplace. So, you know, 10, 15 times a month, we're launching campaigns for, you know, one VIN 10 set of, you know, uh, inventory in the Midwest and another one in the Southeast. And, you know, they're using it to manage that supply chain, you know, to their best advantage and, and optimize their cost, you know, of moving that, that inventory. Uh, up until now, the, the only real lever both a dealer and a OEM have had is price to try to move inventory. It's a very costly way of clearing inventory. You know, uh, you know OEMs are up to four thousand dollars, you know, on average per unit in incentive spending. That's a big chunk of gross margin on a on a unit. Dealers spend thirty million or thirty billion a quarter in. Um, and retail discounts to move inventory, Lord. you know? And the problem is the old, you know, price elasticity of demand doesn't work the same way as it used to. It doesn't, what it tends to do is shift buyers from one unit to another, not really drive incremental demand. So it's a very costly way of clearing out, you know, what you have that's aged on your lot. And the, the older a piece of inventory gets, the harder it is to sell. It's just a phenomenon that every dealer knows. Um, and when you're doing that, you're shifting the demand to those units, you're starving the fresher units that are then gonna go through the same cycle. And they'll become aged and then you're you know, discounting those. So, you know, uh, smarter technology tools and the ability to micromanage demand per unit really makes a massive difference, you know, in not only the sales rates of those units, you know, reducing the days a lot, but in the realized margin, right? It's a lot less expensive if you use technology to find incremental buyers than it is to use dollars to find incremental buyers, right? And, and sit there and absorb costs on your lot. Yeah, and you know, so this is one of the inefficiencies that is developed in our business. Dealers complain about compressing margins and the race to you know the bottom. They're looking at the guy next door, seeing what he's priced. He's looking back to see what they're priced, and you know, they're sort of pushing themselves into a you know, into a business that, that there's no retail uh, margin left in. And, uh, you know, I think what, what makes me most excited about this, this business is, you know, how technology is going to change that. So far, the, uh, frankly, the internet has been a big cost center for dealers. They've had to spend a lot of money tooling up. You know, they're spending, you know, digital spending is up 288%, while, you know, margins are down 38%. So you, that can't sustain. You can't be serving a... You know, it's great for the digital guys, but it's you know it can't be serving a customer base that is you know getting crushed on the the net margins. We have to find have technology find the efficiencies, and we have to get a dividend from you know all of this investment in technology that we've made. That's beginning to happen. I think that's going to be the story going forward. And you know, if technology can bring every dealer another three hundred bucks a unit, you know that's going to change the whole dynamic of this business. And I think that's you know that's what. Uh, we're going to be seeing happen over the next uh, you know year or so thanks len thank you